Hi friends, it's me, it's Shayla, and it's time to talk about week four of the Hobby Advent Calendar. So I'm just going to do a quick jump and actually show you what it was because I was not at home when I started it. So I did a quick little, oh you'll see. Off you go. Hi friends, it's me, it's Shayla. I am covering the phone with my the camera with my hand. There we go. So as you can see, I'm not at home. I'm at my sister's house because it's Christmas Eve. But it is also the fourth Sunday of December. So it, we have got our fourth pattern for the Hobby Crochet Advent Calendar. Bag number four. So the pattern for this week is a little project bag with a zip. It's made in two parts. So it's got a handle and a pouch. So it's called the Snow Snow Bag, I think it's called. It is... Yeah. So we'll just um, refresh remind ourselves what was actually in the fourth bag so first off we had this cool box and inside of that we had a round zipped up organizer case which i still don't know what i'm going to use that for <sighs> this is hard i'm holding my phone and i feel like i'm gonna do something terrible drop it or sink we got these six little wooden gift tags we got our two project pieces so this is our honey bunny shine can't really see the shine it is very very subtle um and it's in like an off-white color and then we have a zip matching zip so i'm gonna go start working on our pattern and i'll come and show you guys when we're finished let you know how the pattern's gone if it's more usable than the last three you know, I have enjoyed the other three. It's just they have not been written in a format that I enjoy. But, you know, we can always make our own assessments. You guys can always try them out and see how you guys feel. Because it's just my personal opinion. So, yeah. I'm going to go get busy with that. And I'll catch you guys later. So, that was what was in the week four bags. Um, like I have said previously in our main unboxing video, I do not like Honey Bunny yarn. So I haven't finished this project. I tried, but I haven't finished. So here it is. I did actually do this on Christmas and then I just didn't work on it any further. And now it's several days after Christmas and I, after the Advent day and I didn't release it. So I've, just so we have closure on the series, I am going to finish this video. <laughs> And I have a microphone, so hopefully that's working. If it's not, I apologize. It's the first time I've used it. So here is what I've done so far. This is actually mostly done. So the handle that you're supposed to make was supposed to be like a tube, a little tube make in a spiral. I just could not get it. No, <laughs> I just could not get it. I kept jumbling up my stitches, and it was just turning into a snail mess. So I ended up just doing a flat flat band the same amount of stitches that was the, the other handle would have been and then I just did a single crochet along the edge to join it together so it was a panel and I fold in half and then stitched it so not quite the same so there were a few motivations there and then I was struggling to join the handle to the bag and I tried to um, I tried to frog it and then I got to one of these snags and you see so a lot of times when I try and frog when I'm using this yarn I just like to use wool and cotton I don't like this polyester fuzzy stuff it catches and it just pulled and I couldn't get it and I would have to chop it and I just couldn't deal with that so I will chop that at some point and I think I will take the handle off because I ended up just slip stitching it on and not actually doing what was in the pattern either. So this is not the most helpful video in the series to be honest because I didn't finish it and I didn't do the project as directed in the pattern. <clears throat> but I will chop it at some point. I will chop it just so I can get this last little bit and un unhook the handle that I tried to put on and I will just make it a, sing a, a zipper pouch without a handle because it just wasn't working for me but I have seen other people do their week fours and they have worked and 
they have more skills than me. <laughs> but that's, we do what we do. Um, so I'm just going to make mine just a straight zipper pouch. I have this, as you can see, I haven't put my, my zip in yet either because I was still umming and ahhing about what we were going to actually do with this. So I haven't finished, but I am going to take out this top row, which will disconnect the rest of the handle. And then I'm just going to sew my zip in when I find a needle on thread, which is another reason why I didn't finish it. So yeah, I learned there was a new stitch in here. It was a double single crochet. And it does make this nice little kind of like square boxy stitch, which I do quite like. And I am going to use this in other patterns. You see it? It's like, it's like little little cubes right next to each other. And I, I think that's so cute. Um, yeah. So that one, the pattern did mostly make sense. I just don't think I, I just, didn't know how to do some of it, <laughs> but we learn. And I learned a new stitch pattern, which is really cool. So this, yeah, like I said, it was double single. So, but I recommend you looking up that stitch and giving it a go because it does actually look cool. And I want to make hats. I want to make some hats using this. <laughs> so yeah, short video because I kind of messed everything up. <laughs> what can we do? Oh, this is going all over the place. I'm hoping it's not too noisy for you. I wasn't really, I couldn't really figure out how to make it stick to my shit. <laughs> um, so yeah, short, sweet, not the best video, I'm sorry. But at least it's over now. And you guys can give it a go. Give it a go yourself. You guys will be able to smash it and do way better than I did. So <laughs> I'll see you next time.